So you know in the deep there's adventure and danger, that's where you'll find Diver Dan. The sights that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. Hopelessly tangled in the seaweed web, Horace is doomed unless help is sped. As the Baron and Trigger taunt and tease, the seaweed increases its powerful squeeze. Help! I'm choking! It's getting the boat? Yes, it seems to be. But Trigger, tell me what must I do to get you to call me Baron consistently? Well, Baron consistently, you, you could quit changing your name all the time. Do. Sometimes I believe you must be the only fish that has succeeded in splitting the atom, since you couldn't possibly have more than half an atom for a brain. Oh, gee, thanks, boy. Are we almost there, Finley? Oh, yes, Doc. It's just beyond that next mound of rocks. Oh, I hope we're in time to save poor hearts. <laughs> he is getting weaker. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, boy, uh, someone's coming. It's that diver and two of those creepy fish that hang around the Maymay. Quick, let's get behind this animated wheel. Perhaps the diver will venture close enough to be trapped, too. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Hmm? <laughs> Just as I feared, it is the savage seaweed of the Sulu Sea. I've never actually seen it before, but it is described to all divers as one of the greatest dangers of the seven seas. Can you use your, your knife to cut Horace loose, Dan? That's what I'm going to try to do. Well, don't let it get you, Dan. It's dangerous, but I must try to save Horace. Finley and Doc went after Diver Dan to see if he can help Horace. Yeah, Horace certainly can get himself into a peck of trouble. Yes, he does, Skipper. I think it's because he's such a gentle, trusting soul. <laughs> now, now, see, Biscuit. Pacing like that will do no good. I'm sure Diver Dan will think of something. Gosh, Miss Minerva, I sure hope so. Oh, my, oh, my. Dan is caught now. Yes, but I at least have my other arm free. I must free myself quickly. I don't have much air remaining in my tanks. <laughs> He's trapped. Now all we need is to keep him trapped until his tanks are empty. Yeah, Baron, consistently. Then we will be rid of that guy here uh, for good. Oh, can we do anything, Dan? No, Doc. There's nothing that you... Wait a moment. I have an idea. Can you pick up the end of that cable and give it to me? Oh, sure thing, Dan. This is a self-contained electric sounding device. I'll just release this clamp and remove the sounding pod. There. What are you going to do, Dan? There's just a chance that this might work. I'll attach it above Horace. He might get a slight shock. But... Now, now, Doc, push that white knob. 
An electric hot pin. Come, Trigger. Let's vacate the premises. Away. Paris, are you all right? sensation and then I was free. I'm sorry you had to get a portion of the electric shock. My suit protected me completely. Gee, Dan, you saved Horace. You're a hero. I think a lesson can be learned from Horace's adventure with the seaweed. You should proceed with caution when you enter any strange place or situation. Yes, indeed, Dan. I never want to eat berries again. I wonder if Baron Barracuda and Trigger learned a lesson. I doubt that. I'm beginning to think you just can't teach a Barracuda anything. And as for Trigger, well... <laughs> Horace has escaped the savage seaweed. The adventure he sought was an experience indeed. Diver Dan has saved the day. And now our friends are on their way. He moves among creatures of frightening features. Flashing teeth, flashing jaws, flapping fins, snapping claws. He protects and he saves his friends under the waves. That's where you'll find Diver Dan.